An artist's explosion is about to engulf Auckland as the Art Week hits the city for 10 days with the festival of showcasing and celebrating the visual arts and artists of Auckland. To share more about what you can expect to see around town, please welcome to the cafe organiser Malena Kay and also artist Mato El Noor. Welcome yes, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. welcome. First up, Malena, 10 days, 10 different areas of Auckland. Bit of a big undertaking for you. It's huge. So it is a citywide event. It showcases exhibitions in public environment public and private venues all across the city and then connects them through various tours both walking and cycling and then adds on extra events after that. Wow. What is the idea behind Art Week? Well again it, it's about showcasing the visual arts so we really try and get people into galleries. I know it can be a little intimidating to go into a gallery maybe for the first time and because we add on tours like the walking and the cycling tours it's kind of like an easy access point oh, great. for people just to jump on grab a friend their best art buddy and just <laughs> explore that's a cool thing to do um what are some of the installations and works that we can view so there's a couple of big nights happening in um during the week so the first one would be on tuesday the 10th of october that's late night art in the heart of the city and their events are going to be all over so from the auckland art gallery they'll be open late and there'll be events happening in Kachu place it's something called street art dago and that's where artists are teamed up with chefs and they come up with a dish related to what, um, mm. their practice what a fantastic well, idea yeah. it's pretty cool yeah. and then there's events happening in st patrick's square rts square there's all sorts of things happening all over yeah and some students get the chance to exhibit that's right so unitech school of architecture are going to take part in devonport glow Blow It Out Week, and that happens on the 13th and the 14th of October, the Friday, Saturday. And so they're going to be making massive installations, light installations, and it's kid-friendly. There'll be lots of other things happening. So there's a Globe um, bike tour that'll be happening on the night as well. Oh, yeah, because I wanted to ask you about the bike tours. They sound fascinating. Yeah, yeah. so they're going to be happening in Ponsonby, K Road, and Heart of the City. You just have to jump online. The most amazing part about it is it's free. Nah. All of the events are free, the guided tours, the walking tours, the cycle tours. All you have to do is jump on the website, artweek.co.nz. And figure it all out. And that figure it all good. out. Um, some very big names too, exhibiting Colin McCann. Colin McCann, so he's part of On the Road. That's an exhibition that's part of the um, Presbyterian Church. And they've actually got lots of events connected to that show. So um, artist talks as well as public panel discussions that all you need to do is jump online and you mm -hmm. can get more details when it's happening or you can pick up a printed program. So these are at all of the venues that are taking part in Art Week and everywhere else in between, anywhere you can find. But everything is online as well. Excellent work. And speaking of big names, Mardo, welcome. Great to have you much. here. I'd love to work with Tom Scott, by the way. Oh, um, yes. What are you exhibiting this week? So basically I get commissioned by people and uh, I capture them as characters and scenes that tell their personal stories. So imagine it as a freeze frame from an imaginary movie. So they are, used, they, they are captured as characters in the middle of an action. Something has just happened or something is about to happen. Oh, wow, Brilliant. that's amazing. Tell us about this one that we're looking at now on screen. So this is basically Hannah and uh, she's a singer and uh, we captured her as a character who's into action. She just broke into a place and she has no idea that she is about to get in trouble. That's so cool. So you'll be doing this live, essentially? Uh, no, I don't. So basically what happens is I get commissioned by people who want to tell their personal stories. Yeah. And the process starts with um, me getting to know them, uh, getting to know what kind of story they want to tell, and then we um, uh, set up a scene, a highly detailed, elaborate scene of what uh, kind of story they want to tell. And then I go back to the studio and put everything together. Wow. Uh, yeah, it looks incredible, beautiful Thank work. You. I'm going to ask you both this question. Why do you think a festival like this is important? Mardo, you can go. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Who wants Rock, to go paper, first? scissors. Yeah. Well, not everyone gets the opportunity to maybe display their work on this grander scale with such massive promotion behind them. Right. Mm. So it might not be necessarily a typical gallery exhibition. For example, Mardo is going to be showing at Ponsonby Central. Mm. And there'll be a few things happening from um, Object Space have something up in the Sapphire Room and then the Colours Collective have something going on. So non-traditional mm -hmm. spaces really open up during uh, Art Week. And I think it's mm. also the fact that some people can be a little bit scared of art. They yeah. can get a bit yeah. sort of like, oh, that's, mm -hmm. that's so high, bro. I can't possibly appreciate it. But everyone can appreciate good yeah. art. And for creative practitioners, it's always easier to exhibit under a bigger umbrella. So it's much easier for me to exhibit um, as opposed to have a show on my own. Mm. Yeah, great. Well, it sounds fantastic. Yeah, Mardo, it Malena, thank you so much. Thank you. Good good work. Good work. Good 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 else now to find out more about what's on offer, head along to artweekauckland.co.nz.